Welcome to Conversations Live. For more than a decade, we've brought you the best in books, entertainment, celebrity interviews, and current events. When the movers and shakers of the world have something to say to you, they say it to us first. Here's your host, Cyrus Webb. And welcome back, everyone, to Conversations Live. I'm your host, Cyrus Webb. Glad you all could join us once again. But for our radio audience here in Mississippi at WYAD 94.1 FM and WYADonline.com, we're glad that you could join us. Also, tuning in through our friends at Amazon Music and iHeartRadio. We're glad you all could be with us as well. We're excited to welcome back tech expert Andrea Smith to our program today. Last year around this time, she was covering a virtual event of CES, but she's back now among the action, taking us into all the great things she's looking forward to this year, as well as the top trends for 2022. Andrea, thank you so much again for the time. Really appreciate it. Oh, thank you, Cyrus, for having me. So what a difference a year makes, right? You were covering this virtually for us. We were able to talk to you last year. How does it feel to be back among the action this year? I can't tell you how glad I am to be back in Las Vegas. I mean, I'm at a very uh, cold Las Vegas convention center where you can actually (laughs) hear behind me them building out the the last-minute touches on the booth. But it's really exciting. I'm so glad to see this show back. It is not fully back, as you can imagine, and yeah. some companies were not able to make it, but there's still over 2,000 brands here, and um, it's it's been exciting. Yeah. So what are you looking forward to this year from the event, Andrea? Well, I'm looking forward to, you know, those huge TVs. I'm looking for. we've been hearing a lot about virtual reality, augmented reality, uh, the car tech, um, and really, you know, immersive digital experiences. Um, mm. So that's that's what's cool. Yeah, yeah. Are there any big reveals you can tell us about you've heard about that we could be looking forward well, to? Well, yeah, so we've seen some of those really gorgeous television sets, you know. Um, maybe they won't fit in your living room or my living room, <laughs> <laughs> but they're certainly <laughs> huge. Um, but what I love is that the, the technology is becoming um, more accessible, right? So those mm. huge TVs we saw five years ago are now a little bit more affordable for consumer levels. And Samsung is doing the same thing. They're taking their flagship um, devices, like the flagship Galaxy S21, and they've launched the Samsung Galaxy S21 FE 5G, FE standing for Fan Edition, and what that means is they've taken all the fan favorite features from the flagship device, the 6.4-inch dynamic AMOLED display, the high refresh rate for smooth scrolling, the pro-grade camera system, all-day battery life, and they're putting it into a more affordable, accessible device. And it's available now, which is very cool, because usually, Cyrus, I'm telling you, all the things we see here, you're not even going to see coming down the pike till like Q2, Q3, maybe holiday season. So wow. that's kind of cool. Then the other really cool thing is personalization of your smart home space. And I don't mean devices. I mean lighting, smart LED lighting, like Govee's wall lights, their glide wall lights. These are smart, colorful, reactive lights. Um, they've got RGBIC technology, so you can customize and display up to 55 colors at one time. So basically, you know, maybe you're watching your football game and you want to display your team's colors. You can you can change the lights to the colors. You just snap these light segments together, create your own design, and then they react to music. They can react to the colors on the TV screen if you want. You can use Alexa to control them hands-free. So just really fun personalization. Andrea, I love that. So you mentioned Samsung and what others are doing. What are the tech trends everyone will be talking about this year, do you think? Well, you know, we're talking about the metaverse. We're talking about um, blockchain. We're talking about sustainability, which is really good. Uh, The place is filled with e-bikes, of course. Um, That's a big trend. And then the other thing is companies are really kind of reacting and responding to how we've been living our lives the last two years. Samsung's come out with uh, the Freestyle, which is an all-new flexible projector that gives you cinema-quality entertainment on the go. So I don't know about you. We've been doing a lot of uh, driveway movies. Uh, Mm -hmm. People are having sleepovers and showing movies, uh, you know, block parties with music. So this is basically an all-in-one party device to play music, project videos, set the mood lighting, 360-degree sound, 
really awesome. And again, an item that's going to be available now. We don't have to wait till the holiday season for this. The other big trend here is baby tech. There's lots of high-tech baby monitors that let you watch your baby sleep. Owlet's Dream Duo is my favorite here. It tracks and gives parents a complete picture, including sleep quality indicators like how many times your baby woke up, their movement, so much more, so parents can understand and improve their baby's sleep habits. It comes with, um, the Dream Duo comes with a Dream Sock wearable baby monitor, the Owlet Cam with 1080p HD video, and of course, the app and Owlet Sleep Learning Program. So this is something I wish had been around when I had a baby. (laughs) Well, Andrea, it sounds great. Again, I know you're excited to be back at CES this year, covering it live in, in Vegas. Again, everyone, tech expert Andrea Smith giving us a heads up of what's coming up for CES this year. And Andrea, where can our audience go for more information? Head over to d6news.com slash CES2022. All right, Andrea, be safe out there. Thank you again for the time and looking forward to our next chat together this year. Thank you, Cyrus. Happy New Year to you. Thank you. Same to you, Andrea. And we thank your audience for tuning in to another great segment of Conversations Live, part of our News You Can Use segment here at WYAD 94.1 FM and WYADonline.com. Until next time, I'm your host, Cyrus Webb, saying as always, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your world. Thank you all for choosing Conversations Live. Now let's go make today amazing. Take care.